We all have an obligation to do what is just, to do what is right, and to do what is fair. And what I can promise to those of you who have cried today, those of you who mourn the seeming end and assault on our democracy, what I can say to folks who are worried about whether or not, as one sign said, am I next? What I can say to you is that the movement for justice can never die. because the heart for justice can never be killed. That was Tennessee State Representative Justin J. Pearson before the Republican-controlled Tennessee General Assembly expelled him. He was immediately reinstated to the General Assembly by local officials who control appointments to vacant legislative seats. And last week, Representative Justin J. Pearson and his colleague, who was also expelled at that time, Representative Justin Jones, won re-election to the legislature. Tennessee's Republican Governor Bill Lee has called for a special legislative session in two weeks to address gun violence. Polling shows 72 percent of registered voters support a red flag law to prevent general gun related violence. Support increases to 75 percent when the question associated the law with preventing school shootings. Representative Jones and Representative Pearson were expelled from the legislature for the way they responded to a school shooting at the Covenant School in Nashville. Joining us now is Democratic State Representative Justin J. Pearson of Tennessee. Thank you very much for joining us tonight, Representative Pearson. Uh, congratulations on your reelection. What do you want your reelection to say uh, to the General Assembly? Thank you so much, Lawrence. I, I believe our election says a lot to the General Assembly. Most importantly, that you can't expel a movement. You can't expel hope, and you cannot stop people who are advocating for change. Gun violence is the number one killer of children in our state. The Covenant School shooting had three children who were aged nine years old to be killed. Our community in District 86 suffers from homicides significantly. In rural communities, a, a lot of communities are dealing with suicide. We have to do more, and I believe our community has sent a clear message to the Republican Party, Cameron Sexton, William Lambert, that this movement will not stop. And we are going to continue to advocate for change because that is what our kids deserve. That is what our community deserves. And the National Rifle Association, Tennessee Firearms Association, can't take that right away. Were you surprised by that polling uh, showing 75% uh, support for red flag laws? I'm not surprised. Uh, by the polling that the majority of people in Tennessee overwhelmingly want to see red flag laws, overwhelmingly want to see universal background checks. It is common sense uh, gun safety legislation that people want because no one wants to be a victim of gun violence. And particularly for elected officials, we can do way more than just offer thoughts and prayers. We can listen to the people in our communities and we can pass just laws. And that's what the Republican Party supermajority in Tennessee needs to do during this special session coming up here. Do, did any of the Republicans uh, in the legislature learn any lesson that you can detect uh, from the way they expelled you and saw you come back so quickly? democracy in a real sense. The Republican Party here in Tennessee has been rooted in white supremacy and patriarchy for quite a long time. And in order for us to change that, it is going to require what happens externally to impact what happens internally. And we have had hundreds of thousands of people march, hundreds of thousands of people send emails and make phone calls. And that is forcing them to have a change in perspective, if not a change in heart. And so as we go into the special session and as we move forward, the Tennessee that is being built is a Tennessee that is rooted in hope, that is rooted in justice, and that is rooted in protest for what we know to be right and what we deserve across the spectrum as we build a multiracial, multiethnic, multi-socioeconomic, multi-generational movement for justice here in the South. What did you learn uh, in your first term in the legislature that will inform your second term? We must listen to the people. And we have to sometimes risk it all in order for the people's voices to be heard. There's no way for us to get justice without some sacrifices. For us, it was the sacrificing, unfortunately, of our seat and our democracy. But it is also the truth that the phoenix does rise from the ashes and that the communities that are being oppressed and that are being pushed to the periphery will be brought to the center of the conversation, that the people who are told that their voices do not matter and that they don't have any place or any space in the Tennessee General Assembly will demand one. And that is the hope that continues to push me forward as we move into this next phase of our ability to serve our community. And I believe that is the spirit that is going to change Tennessee and can change this country. 
Tennessee State Representative Justin J. Pearson, thank you very much for joining us again tonight, and congratulations on your reelection. Thank you. Let's keep going. Thank you.